Breaking news right now at noon. New documents released in the case of the man accused of killing Nassau County Sheriff's Deputy Joshua Moyers. The search for Patrick McDowell spanned several days in September after investigators say he shot Deputy Moyers during a traffic stop. Now we are getting a look at the anguished text messages McDowell sent to his mom prior to the shooting, talking about past troubles with the law. Thank you for joining us here for First Coast News at Noon. I'm Katie Jeffries. Welcome in. I'm Keith and Nelson. On your side, Kaylee Tracy has been digging into these documents and joins us now live in our newsroom. Kaylee, what are McDowell and his mom actually talking about? Well, Keith and Katie, the messages start in August. McDowell tells his mom his life is a mess and he tells her his head is messed up and talks about his legal issues. Most recently, his arrest in Georgia for having guns and controlled substances in the car he was stopped in. That McDowell's mom tells him that he has to keep going and put all of this behind him, begging him several times to get help and pleading with McDowell not to hurt himself, saying, quote, I couldn't take it. In early September, McDowell tells his mom he's broke, exhausted and stressed and says his friend stole everything he owned. McDowell texts his mom that he hates his life and, quote, I am so close to just walking out of here and going to do something way wrong to get what I need. She tells him he has to, quote, get back on track somehow and that he has to face, quote, whatever comes and deal with it. Now, during the search for McDowell, his mom messaged him over Facebook several times, asking him just to let her know that he is OK, saying she's worried, scared for him as well, and telling her son that she loves him. She didn't hear back from him after she sent those messages. The state is seeking the death penalty against McDowell and a grand jury indicted him for first degree murder in October and he's also charged with one count of injuring or killing a police dog and eight counts of aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer. I'll have a lot more from these documents tonight on First Coast News at five and six. Back to you.